got my name on the, I got my name on the, the cardboard paper. I, I finally made it. This is like the shit you lay on in the doctor's office. <laughs> cool. I'm keeping this shit. I'm bringing it home. Okay, good. Get out of here. That's right. The, the cardboard. Okay, please do. <laughs> the paper jokes were too edgy. I'm out of here. This guy's not sticking to the script. But I do, dude, I do like the carpet, though. It feels like I'm on Shark Tank or something, you know? Sharks? I have 30 minutes of jokes for, for free. We're out. Fuck. I'm just looking at This is cool. This feels like a spot where they would film, like, terrorist videos, you know? Like, I don't know. It's, we're going to cut his head off. Yeah, I uh, feel like my, my outfit, I look like a, a Zoom substitute teacher. That's the kind of <laughs> Christian hip hop dancer. What's up, guys? Yeah, I'm trying to be healthy. You guys healthy? Okay, wow. <laughs> Nothing at all. <laughs> I, was like, I don't know. But yeah, it is always nice to be out and about. This is, uh, this is one of the shows, uh, this, this, these shows are called the Headline Series just in case you didn't know. Yeah, this is a new concept they're doing here where they're doing a comedy show with a headliner. Yeah, I don't know where they come up with this shit. Pretty wild <laughs> stuff here at Spitfire. <laughs> What's next, funny improv? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Does anybody actually know me? Yeah, you, yeah, you know me. You're my friend though. <laughs> Does anybody here know me who's not my friend? It's a good question. Yeah, I, yeah, it's a good question to ask, too. Does anybody know me who's not my friend? It's like a weird... Yeah, are you the one? That's right. I was on a reality TV show. It's called Brazzers House. I went pretty... <laughs> yeah, no, I was on a dating reality show. I got top ten on Netflix. Oh, my God. Uh, but, yeah, top t dating reality show. It feels gross just to even say it out loud. But uh, it was one of those shows where it's like... I mean, I thought we were in love, but then, then you got third place in the obstacle course. And then... <laughs> Every episode of that show was like, all right, guys, you've got 10 minutes to get all the yogurt from that bathtub into a box using only your underwear. What happens if we lose? You die! What? <laughs> yeah, that place was interesting because everybody's got an ego on reality TV too. We're all just a bunch of nobodies, but everybody on the show is like, you're trash, I'm classy, you're trash, I'm classy. Then a bell rings and we all eat dog shit really fast. That's, that's reality TV. One time I was at a bar and somebody goes, uh, hey, you look like that guy from the show. And I go, I am that guy from the show. And he goes, nah, he wouldn't be here. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't cool enough to be me. That was a weird... I'm, I'm, what? I think that my, my best moment after dealing with reality TV was uh, I was eating at a, a Beef O'Brady's. Thank you. And uh, I was there with a, my girlfriend at the time, and we were in an argument, and she's, you know, she's just railing on me, just, you're nobody. Nobody's ever going to love you. You're nothing without me. No, no one will ever care about you if I'm not with you. And as she's ripping me up, the waitress comes up and asks to take a picture with me and has my girlfriend hold the camera and do it. <laughs> and then walks away. Yeah, what was that? Nobody will ever love me? I'm pretty sure I could sleep with a Beef O'Brady's waitress, all right? So <laughs> I think I'm doing all right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. That got silent claps. <laughs> Hell yeah, I saw it, that's what counts. It's like we're at a, a silent auction. Funny. Yeah. Welcome back, guys. Thanks for coming in. I know, so you can't help but notice when somebody leaves, there's, you know, six of us here. No, this, feel, no, this is a cool feel. This feels like the Tower of Terror, you know, like we're all gonna fall really quick. <laughs> I'm the, I'm the ghost that talks to you at the top before. <laughs> this was once a hotel. <laughs> and now it's a, 
an arena-sized elevator. We, ch <laughs> we went through some changes. It was Mickey's idea. He runs it. I don't know. They say Hitler had a micro penis. That's what the TV told me. And how, how quickly after finding his dead body do you think they checked to consume? <laughs> like, I think they, they walked in. Oh my God, it's dead Hitler. I got to see it. Let me see. <laughs> you think it had the little mustache and the picture? <laughs> what time did Hitler go surfing? Heil tide. You're right, you're right. I should have never, I shouldn't have even. That's the name of my album. It's called and I Shouldn't Have Even. <laughs> I don't know why I keep holding myself. Somebody told me I, I looked like I'm, I look like a condom. Somebody told me. <laughs> That's a nice thing. You guys in, uh, you guys in relationships? Oh, wow. <laughs> that was super enthusiastic. We got any veterans in the house tonight? Nice. That was the nicest, most innocent veteran of ever. <laughs> no, not only a veteran, fuck yeah, veteran, me. I killed him, I, mur I killed the terrorists. <laughs> bang, bang, you're dead now. That's Coast nice. Guard. Coast Guard, hell yeah. Nice. Save lives. You save lives. Have you saved a life? I have saved a couple lives. A couple lives, nice. What was the situation, if you don't mind me asking? Okay. Well, yeah, I mean, I'd love to know. How, do you guys want to know? <laughs> well, they, may, yeah, they want to know. Let's, I, we'd love to know. I don't think you have time for that. Could you, you know, yeah, do a Spark Notes version of it? <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. There we go. Your friend did a way better job than you right there. <laughs> I gave you a full few minutes. And she just said, she flies helicopters. Go crazy. But good for you. That's it. You said. Well, I picked him oh. up and he was evening, but we have to bring him in head first. Mm -hmm. And we hit a little verbal turbulence and he just kind of went down. And I accidentally sat on his face. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> huh. All right. The point is you saved his life, so. America. Cool. Wow. Accidentally sat on his face, pissed himself. Turbulence. Beautiful. Turbulence. Yeah, that too. Okay. Wow. Jesus. I don't even. I feel like I just watched a movie. You asked. Well. I thought it would go better. <laughs> but no, that was, that was cool. That's, well, good for you. You've saved lives. That's awesome. Uh, you know, I, I don't. <laughs> but uh, well, to be fair, though, okay, you got that story. One time I was on Twitter, and, and a, a little girl who followed me from the TV show, she wrote a long tweet that said, I'm going to kill myself. I told my dad already, he doesn't care. So see you later, everybody. This is my last tweet. And I commented back. I said, don't kill yourself. And she, and she tweeted, she goes, oh my God, John Jacobs from Netflix told me not to kill myself. I'm not going to do it. So I think we're even. That's, <laughs> That was a good, that's got to be the best use of social media. Yeah, if you have any, just tell people don't kill themselves. Just every tweet should be don't, don't kill yourself. They're like, I posted a picture of a sandwich. I'm like, but just in case. <laughs> so uh, I've been riding those e-scooters around town. Yeah, because, you know, I'm ready to die. And uh, <laughs> those things are fun. I like the e-scooter. I feel like the fun in those isn't even riding it as much as it's just being able to leave it wherever the fuck you want. Right? Like we all get to feel like rich children. Just, yep, middle of the crosswalk. I'm done. I don't care. I want sushi now. I'm... 
Yeah. They're getting brave. I saw one merge onto the highway. What the fuck? <laughs> You're right. It's... <laughs> I am happy that that's how good I sold it, you know? <laughs> I'm an actor. No fucking way, dude. No. <laughs> I should have just gone with it. Yeah, dude, swear to God. Swear to God. <laughs> I did once see an old fat lady eat it on one of them, though. And she was with her whole family, too, which is the sad part, because I think it was, it, it, that's the dad's fault. At that point, it was a dad, a mom, and like three kids and the grandma. And it's like, you gotta fucking know. She's like 80 years old. It was great, because I see her eat shit. And then the dad just kind of turned around like. <laughs> it's like, yeah, dude, that'll happen. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I live in, I live in the, the Tampa part. I don't live in the St. Pete part. I know. Is there any, is there any beef between, <laughs> between Tampa and St. Pete? I don't know what the... I don't know what the, the stereotype is. Tampa just feels like old people, right? And then St. Pete feels like a city run by kids. <laughs> We're all bartenders. We're <laughs> what if it was a city? <laughs> it's a restaurant, but it's a skate park at night. And dogs come, too. Is somebody writing this down? <laughs> we'll call it, like... Grinders or something. Not bad. Okay. I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna look at notes. I hate it, but I, w I wanted to do new stuff, you know what I mean? And I feel like such a whore pulling it out. But, <laughs> you know, I, I don't think you guys will hate me. No. Oh, thank no. you. <laughs> no, no way. <laughs> He's pulling the fucking notes out. I'm getting my money back. No, okay. No, I just, you know, because I want to make sure. <laughs> You guys have a good time. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> no, I found that on the ground outside. Um, anybody here a criminal? Has anybody been to court for any reason? It's okay, I'm not a cop. You have to say that for some reason. Yeah, is that a real rule? All old movies are like that, right? Are you a cop? You gotta tell me. I don't think that's how it is. <laughs> Are you a cop? Ah, yep, fuck, I'm out of here. We'll send a new guy in next week. He asked us, we had to fucking... But, uh, so nobody's been to court for anything, or you just don't want to tell me? You waved your hand? Yeah, you. Yeah, did you have to go to court? Oh, uh, yes. Okay, if, well, you sound stressed. If you don't want to tell me... I'm so stressed. <laughs> Oh. Driving fast. Oh, that's and they got bullshit. Had what? That was underage. Was it like opened? Was that why? It was. It was actually wasn't. It was like Smirnoff Ice. And it was oh my closed. god. Yeah. I know, you, got know. <laughs> you got iced. The <laughs> 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 fuck. Fifty dollars. That was good. My mom paid. It was fine. Oh, so it wasn't like a bit. It wasn't a big deal. It wasn't a big deal. But I had okay. To Wait, you said it was fifty dollars? Yeah, fifty dollars. What the fuck? <laughs> that's cheap. <laughs> that's amazing. Good for you. Massachusetts. Fi wow. Massachusetts, 50 bucks. Yep. Fucking hell. That's like, that's, that's, I feel like that's promoting crime yeah. if you make it that cheap. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, here's 400. Keep the change. I'll be, I got some shit to do this week. <laughs> but uh, yeah, if, if you've never been to court before, court is just a game you got to play when you get caught fucking up. More money you have, better shot you have at winning. And if you don't think court is a game, look at the terminology that they use. Two teams sit on a bench and practice in a court in an attempt to win a trial. If you don't want to play, you can plead no contest. They call it a fucking contest. How much more obvious can it get? A verdict will be reached by a jury of your peers. What is a fucking game show? <laughs> Tonight on Law, 12 strangers will decide whether one man will escape in an hour or get raped in the shower. Only on TBS. Like, 
in reality, we don't need a bunch of strangers to wake up early to figure out who gets sole custody of the dildo. But the reason we have that is so the state holds no responsibility for what happens. You ever notice that? State holds no responsibility. They go, hey, not our fault you went to jail. Your peers sent you there. I mean, who am I to judge? I'm just a judge. Like, <laughs> only reason why a judge is in a courtroom is to make sure that the rich players get properly dealt their justice. Because people forget. Well, a jury decides the verdict, judge decides the sentencing. That's why five-year-old black kids will get 55 years for five grams of crack, when 55-year-old white guys will get five days in the Bahamas for embezzling $5 billion of crack money. It's called home court advantage, guys. It's not a race thing, it's a money thing. There's not more black people in prison due to racism, there's more black people in prison because they're poor, because of racism. The point is, <laughs> justice may be blind, but that bitch sure can smell money. So. Ah, you're too kind. <laughs> yeah, that's, I like that one. We think for a second there. <laughs> and then it's right back to the... I'll do the good ones now. You made me. <laughs> Nothing for that. Good. All right. <laughs> it's, it's, it's going all right. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm originally from Washington, D.C. That's where I grew up. I don't know. Any, anybody around there? I don't know. No, anybody from anywhere cooler? I don't know. Anybody? Anybody? Yeah, just somebody raise their hand. I was like, I live in Virginia. I was like 30 minutes away. Okay. Yeah, Not bad. What part of Virginia? Um, Stafford. Stafford. Quanto. Oh. That's the military thing? Yeah, I'm Okay, cool. Well, yeah, it's kind of close. Yeah. But um, yeah. I know. I, I, I couldn't think of anything funny. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, brain. You what? Nothing funny about Virginia. Nothing funny about Virginia. Was, wasn't there a phrase like, Virginia's for lovers? Yeah. Is that true? You know, it's, I mean, I love him, so that's cool. <laughs> are you, oh, you with somebody? Is that? Yeah, with my husband. Oh. No, not, he, okay, I was, uh, <laughs> oh, he's in Virginia? Did you come down for the show? Yeah, just for you. <laughs> I believe it. <laughs> Damn right, you hear that? Every, got people flying in. It's funny because this is like my handwriting sucks. This looks better than mine. Anybody else have bad handwriting? Yeah. yeah. My handwriting was so bad. I used to get booed when I was up at the board in school. Like <laughs> everything I write looks like a ransom note. It's crazy. <laughs> I like uh, Super Mario, the most classic video game of all time. It's me, Mario. That's this classic. That's such a positive. Like you think he ever had to say that? In you know, a more serious time, you know, he's ever on the phone like, it's me, Mario, yeah. <laughs> she died, mushroom overdose. Yeah. <laughs> See, I like the premise of that joke because Mario's not a real person. And yet I'm going, you think he's ever like on the phone with <laughs> You think he's ever talking to, you guys, uh, you guys watch wrestling? I can do other ones if... Okay. Barely enough. A lot of work for a little laugh. Boom! Thank you. Speaking of looking at my notes, now I'm gonna, I'll leave soon. The clock at the end that has my obligated time is already ticked down to the end. So I owe you nothing. No, but I want to give you more because I still feel like I haven't won you over. Some of you are still like, I don't know if this guy's funny. <laughs> he might be. I'm just, he just hasn't done the good ones yet. Speaking of the good ones, now I can see you're getting restless. You guys are like, we want to get wasted. We, want, we could be seeing, I don't know, something on Central Avenue. What's a, what's a cool thing you're going to go do after this? Fresh Friday. Fresh Friday? Oh, is that tonight? Yeah. Oh, so there's like a whole bunch of shit going on. And yet you still came here. To see the guy who was on three episodes of the challenge. How about that? Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, that's fucking right. Did anybody see me on the challenge? Don't you lie to me. <laughs> you really saw me on there? You what? He makes you watch every year. He makes you watch every year? Oh hell yeah. Oh shit. Did you guys all you said oh well, hell yeah. So you saw me on season twenty-six. Battle of the X's 2, which, yeah, talk about 
good ideas for your mental health. Let's, <laughs> hey, remember your ex? Well, now you guys are partners. You live together. <laughs> yeah, the cha- no, that was a weird one, too. The challenge. Johnny Bananas. Yeah, he, he beat me in tug of war, so I had to go home. <laughs> It was, yeah, those people are fragile, man. I remember, because, like, you know, the main dude on all these MTV reality shows is CT. You know, that's, like, the main big guy, dude. The first day in the house, you know, I, I go up to him, and I'm like, oh, you know, you, you seem like, you know, you're the man. Like, I bet, you know, whenever you go out, everybody's trying to talk to you and stuff. And he goes, what are you trying to get, my fucking head? Because you trying to fuck with me? It's like, dude, I watched you in elementary school. Like, I'm just trying to be your friend. But, uh... I lasted longer than him on the show, so I'm the, I'm the fuck. He's not at Spitfire on a Friday night. He doesn't have sweatpants that say Paris on them. <laughs> what does he have? A family and a house and children? What is that? <laughs> what does he have? A lot of money and friends and people who love him? What did? <laughs> that means nothing to this next joke I'm about to tell. <laughs> oh man. It better be a good one. You build it up like that. Okay. Oh, God damn it. I can't even read my handwriting. That says, what does that say? Broken house? I got to know. Oh, that Brazzers house is from earlier. <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> okay. I'm almost there. Um, <laughs> okay. Fine. Fucking. Is the. Coming up next on Is the Plant Real? That's how bad TV is now. <laughs> we put a plant, and they got a guess. Oh, uh, I think it is real. You're right. You got a, a, a coupon because this, bu- this show doesn't have a big budget. Cool, are these, is this gold silverware? Oh, it's gold, but it's plastic. Fuck. <laughs> the guys in the booth are like, get off. <laughs> End the show. It's not working. Don't you tell me, people I made up. (laughs) Man, there's probably been so much funny right in these seats, and we don't even know it. (laughs) Fuck you. No, fuck you. Here, drink the soda. Oh, I believe it's a soda. Fine. <laughs> Tell the jokes, Joker. <laughs> you don't sound like that. <laughs> Do it, funny man. <laughs> oh, what is this? One of your little skits or whatever? You got your little show. That's how people talk to me sometimes. You know? Yeah. You're in a bar. Oh, you're a comedian. So what? You like tell jokes? Do it. Do one. D- be funny for me. And, you know, I do, because I want to fuck. But... (laughs) You like it when I dance? (laughs) No, that is, yeah, that's a lot of shit. That is, yeah. I don't don't even tell people I do stand-up, you know, because it's it's always a hassle. Sometimes they just go, yeah, they'll go, do it. Tell me, tell me your jokes. I go, what? I'm like, I'm naked. What the... (laughs) But... What, what, you got, are you thinking about something? What, no, I finally, what happened? You finally, that's okay. You're making up for their lack of laughter. That's okay. My beacon of light. No, I really should do my closure and leave. What, you're begging me for more? No, keep riffing, it's killing. Thank you, me. You're right. I should poke holes in their fancy picture? If you say so. No. This wasn't here last time I was here, so this is different. What if we had a really pretty picture of Tampa, but we, uh, we built a fucking wooden thing in front of it? I thought we were, I thought we were in a fancy high rise. Okay, nice. <laughs> it's still kind of funny. I really like to squeeze all the laughs out of you. 
It's very, it's very satisfying. I like, I like people to leave my shows going, he should have stopped 20 minutes earlier. <laughs> that's, see, that's when it, that's when it gets funny. It's, <laughs> you know, I think some people just aren't brave enough to leave. I think that's, <laughs> I'm not going to be the first one. No. Is, it, is there any topic on you? Is anything burning a hole in your guys' heads? You wish, are you going, he didn't do his really funny bit about food. Is there anything, he, he didn't do his skip it bit. Remember the skip it? But the very best thing of all, oh, there's a counter on the ball. <laughs> what, like you don't know the song anymore? <laughs> Whatever, you guys are too cool to know the skip it song. Okay, I'll check your iPod later. You fucking got it. <laughs> but yeah, is there anything you want me to talk about before I, you know, keep wasting your time for 20 minutes? <laughs> <laughs> Bail me out, anybody? Super Bowl Sunday. Super Bowl Sunday, yeah. We won the Super Bowl last year. We didn't win it this year, unfortunately. That was exciting, though. Tom Brady, 44 years old, oldest quarterback to ever win the Super Bowl. Bruce Arians, 68 years old, oldest head coach to ever win the Super Bowl. Yeah, welcome to Grandpa Bay, where, where old guys can make it. Okay, Super Bowl juke. Boom, see? Easy, easy. What else you got? Tin can noises? Oh, sure. <laughs> I gotta go right back into the mental asylum after this, so I don't wanna leave. <laughs> There's a van waiting for me outside. So I'm trying to stretch this as much as I can. This will be one of those legendary nights. He went for seven hours. <laughs> Was it funny? K kinda. <laughs> I'm gonna do poetry now. I'm, gonna, I'm actually gonna sell timeshares. Does, if you'd love to live in the great Mystery Bay. No, does, where is this specifically? Does anybody know? Beach Drive. Beach, oh, I'm so stupid. No. Is it not? Oh, well, you made me feel dumb. What the fuck? You manipulated me. <laughs> where is it? Anybody know? No consensus. All right. They just Googled ocean picture with buildings. No. You're right. Fine, all right. You, nobody else wants to shout anything. I, I have to do my closer and leave. I have, I have to do... <laughs> That's a good sign. I can hear Dree from behind the fucking city. Dree, I know you're in there. <laughs> Listen, don't you treat me like your boyfriend. I'm not... <laughs> hey, all right. I got some... Okay. And I clapped. They just want to leave. Everybody wants to leave. <laughs> Why won't I stop? Jared, what do I got to do to stop my show? Be your closer. But, but it's hard. <laughs> Fine, I'll do the closer. They actually start deducting money the longer I go. That's, well, <laughs> you went 20 minutes long. Here's a five. But um, okay, fine. Here we go. This is my fun, meaningful, special closer. Uh, so uh, 